The first Fast and Furious film begins with LAPD officer Brian O'Connor going undercover to find and take down a mysterious crew of hijackers who have a penchant for stealing electronics, like combination TV DVD players. In his investigation, Brian infiltrates a street racing crew led by Dominic Toretto. Dominic's crew includes his girlfriend Letty, his sister Mia, and his friends Vince, Leon, and Jesse. Although Brian and Dom at first butt heads, they begin to form an uneasy bond due to their shared love of cars. When Dominic challenges Brian to a drag race, Brian accepts and bets his car, hoping to earn Dominic's trust. After Dom wins the race, the duo are confronted by a street racing gang leader named Johnny Tran, who destroys the prize car. Brian then brings Dominic an old Toyota Supra to repair and is finally accepted into the family. As the crew work on the car, Dominic also helps Brian prepare for the upcoming Desert Race War competition. As Brian ingratiates himself further in the crew, he also begins a romance with Dominic's sister Mia. While working with Dom, Brian begins to suspect that Tran's crew are in fact the hijackers, and begins acquiring evidence to prove his suspicions. During the race war, Jesse bets and loses his father's car to Tran, but refuses to hand over the vehicle and instead goes on the run. After the race, Brian realizes that the hijackers were in fact the Toretto gang, and Dominic, Letty, Leon, and Vince head off for what they have dubbed their final truck heist. Torn between his duty as an LAPD officer and his loyalty to his newfound family, Brian reveals his true identity to Mia and pleads for her help in intercepting Dominic's crew. During the heist, Vince is shot and critically injured. When Brian and Mia arrive, Brian reveals his true identity to the crew in order to call in emergency medical assistance to save Vince's life. Later, Brian visits Dominic to finally arrest him for his crimes. Before he can, Jesse arrives looking for protection, moments before Johnny Tran arrives and murders him. Brian and Dominic set aside their differences and give chase to Tran, killing him and avenging Jesse's death. Brian then pursues Dominic to arrest him, culminating in the two agreeing to one final drag race. Although the race ends in a tie, Dominic crashes his car. Instead of arresting the thief, Brian gives him his car as promised and allows Dominic to escape. In Too Fast, Too Furious, Brian O'Connor is hiding out in Miami following his assistance in Dominic Toretto's escape. To make money, Brian begins racing in illegal street races organized by his old mechanic friend Tej Parker. When the FBI finally catches Brian, they cut a deal with him to once again go undercover, this time to take down Argentinian drug lord Carter Verone. Brian then teams up with his childhood best friend Roman Pierce and fellow undercover agent Monica Fuentes to accompany him on his mission. After Brian and Roman successfully take down Verone, both of their criminal records are cleared, and they use money secretly stolen from Verone to open up their own garage in Miami. The Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift is set several years later, and begins with high school student Sean Boswell being sent to live in Tokyo with his father after repeated street racing offenses. While in Tokyo, Sean befriends a fellow American named Twinkie, who introduces him to the world of underground drift racing. Sean is then taken under the wing of Han Solo, an expert driver and old friend of Dominic Toretto. With Han's training, Sean quickly masters the art of drifting and prepares to face off against the villainous drift king Takashi, whose uncle Kamada is the head of the Yakuza. Sean begins to develop a relationship with Takashi's girlfriend Neela, who then breaks up with her violent partner, further fueling Sean and Takashi's rivalry. Takashi and his right-hand man Morimoto then confront Sean, Han, and Neela, chasing them through the streets of Tokyo. Although Sean and Neela manage to escape, Han's car is struck by a random passing Mercedes, causing it to explode. Mourning the death of Han, Sean, Twinkie, and Han's loyal mechanic friend Earl fix up and modify Sean Sean's father's vintage Mustang. Sean then challenges Takashi to one final race, with the loser being banished from Tokyo for good. Ultimately, Sean defeats Takashi, and Yakuza leader Kamada honors the deal, allowing Sean to remain in Tokyo and be crowned the new Drift King. Have you ever googled yourself and were shocked to find your personal information exposed on one of those public listing sites? Luckily, this video sponsor Aura can keep your personal and private data so secure that not even Dominic Toretto and his hashtag family could steal it. I just searched my phone number on Google and found a website with my name and every single previous address I've ever lived at. 
It's truly insane and scary to think about complete strangers knowing so many personal details about me, but that's just the reality so many people live in. Data brokers are making a fortune selling your information to robocallers, spammers, and others who want to learn more about you, like where you live. Aura can identify data brokers exposing your info and submit opt-out requests on your behalf. Brokers are legally required to remove your info if you ask them to, but they make it super hard to do. So let Aura handle it for you. You can even try it for free for two weeks using my link in the description. Aura also does so much more to protect you and your family from online threats you can't even see. And it's really easy to set up so you don't have to download several different apps to get things like parental controls, antivirus, VPN, password management, identity theft insurance, and more. You get everything at one affordable price. Aura even found information about me on the dark web and helped me lock that down fast and furious. So let Aura do the hard work of keeping you safe online, so you can focus on other tasks with a peace of mind. So you can let people continue to exploit and profit off your personal information online, or you can head to Aura.com slash recap and chill for a two week free trial. Link is in the description. The fourth Fast and Furious film takes place before the events of Tokyo Drift, and opens with Dominic Toretto and his crew hijacking fuel tankers in the Dominican Republic. Dom's crew now includes his wife Letty, the duo of Leo and Santos, and the alive for now Han Solo. With the police getting closer to catching the crew, Dom realizes it would be safest for everyone, including Letty, if the crew disbanded and he went his own way. Unfortunately, after several Several months living in secret on his own, Dom gets a call from his sister Mia, informing him that Letty had been killed in a car crash. Dom then returns to Los Angeles to search for Letty's killer, soon connecting her death to Mexican drug lord Arturo Braga. Meanwhile, Brian O'Connor is back working with the FBI and is assigned to take down Braga. As Brian goes undercover to infiltrate Braga's crew, he discovers that Dom is doing the same. Both Dom and Brian earn their spots in Braga's team to traffic heroin across the Mexico-United States border. Braga's liaison Giselle warns Dominic how dangerous her boss truly is, but Dom remains steadfast in his search for answers and revenge. After successfully smuggling Braga's heroin across the border, Dom realizes that Braga's right-hand man Phoenix was Letty's true killer. And now that the smuggling job was complete, Phoenix is going to kill Dom and Brian too. The duo manage to escape to Dom's house where Brian reunites with Mia. Brian then explains that Letty had actually been working undercover for the FBI to take down Braga in exchange for Dom's criminal record being cleared. To honor Letty's memory, Brian makes the same deal with the FBI, taking down Braga to clear Dominic's name. Unfortunately, during the planned trap, FBI agent Michael Stasiak fails to trust Brian's motives and bungles the plan, giving Braga and Phoenix a chance to escape to Mexico. Giselle helps Dom and Brian enter Mexico to find and capture Braga. As Dom and Brian race back to the U.S. border to turn over Braga, Phoenix and Braga's men give chase. During the chase, Dom saves Brian's life and kills Phoenix, finally avenging Letty's death. As the film comes to a close, Braga and Dom are arrested. Despite Brian's pleas, Dom is sentenced to 25 years in prison. Disillusioned by the FBI and loyal to his friend, Brian resigns from the Bureau and teams up with Mia, Leo, and Santos to break Dom out of his prison transport bus. In Fast Five, after successfully breaking Dom out of the prison transport bus, Brian and Mia accompany him to hide out in Rio de Janeiro. There, they reunite with their old friend Vince and a local crew to steal some DEA seized cars from a train. During the heist, the local crew's leader ZZ betrays Dom's crew and frames them for the murder of the train's DEA agents. Mia manages to escape in one of the stolen vehicles, which is discovered to belong to ZZ's boss Hernan Reyes. The car secretly contained a computer chip with information on Reyes's criminal empire, including the location of $100 million in cash. As Reyes's men close in on Dominic and his friends, the hashtag family must also evade the diplomatic security service, who have been sent to capture the killers of the DEA agents aboard the train. The DSS team is led by Agent Luke Hobbs, who teams up with a local officer named Elena to bring down Dominic Toretto. 
Feeling pressure from all sides, Dom suggests his crew split up and go into hiding. But when Mia announces she's pregnant with Brian's baby, Dom realizes that family comes first, and hatches a plan to steal Reyes' money and start a new life. And so Dom and Brian assemble a crew of their past allies, including Han, Giselle, Leo, Santos, Roman, and Tej. Eventually, Hobbs and Elena manage to capture Dom, Brian, Mia, and Vince. While transporting the criminals for extradition, the DSS convoy is attacked by Reyes' forces. The DSS agents and Vince are killed, but Dom, Brian, and Mia help Hobbs and Elena escape. Wanting to avenge their fallen allies, Hobbs and Elena agree to help with the heist. As the film comes to a close, the heist begins. Dom and Brian attach Reyes' vault to their cars and drag it through the streets of Rio, while the rest rest of the team defend them against Reyes' forces and the local police. In the end, Dom and Brian use the vault to destroy Reyes' pursuing vehicles. Brian kills ZZ and Hobbs executes Reyes, avenging his comrades. Hobbs then confiscates the vault and allows Dom and his crew a 24-hour head start before he would pursue them once again. But it turns out Dom and Brian had swapped the vault and gotten away with the money. As Dom's family go their separate ways to live lives of luxury in peace, Hobbs returns to his office where he discovers that Dom's supposedly dead wife Letty is still very much alive. In Fast and Furious 6, Brian and Mia are living safely with their young son, Han and Giselle are romantic partners in crime, Roman and Tej are living extravagant lives, and Dominic Toretto has finally found peace with his new love, Elena. And that's when Luke Hobbs arrives, informing him that Letty is still alive and has been working with a villainous racing crew led by former SAS officer Owen Shaw. Dom reunites his crew to assist Hobbs in taking down Shaw in exchange for their criminal records being cleared and for a long-awaited reunion with Letty. Dom's crew chases Shaw's crew around the world, trying to prevent him from stealing the components needed to create the Nightshade, a device which could shut down all electrical power. Throughout their various run-ins with Shaw, Dom realizes that Letty has no memory of their romantic past together and is acting as a cold-hearted and loyal killer for Shaw. As Shaw attacks a military convoy for the final Nightshade component, Dom's team does everything they can to stop the heist, even while being severely outmanned and outgunned. Dom's team overcome the odds and defeat Shaw, who then reveals that Mia has secretly been kidnapped. To save Mia's life, Hobbs is forced to let Shaw go. Realizing the depths of Shaw's villainy and feeling an undeniable connection to Dom, Letty decides to rejoin the family. Everything comes to a head at an airfield, as Shaw and his team try to fly off with the Nightshade device. Dom's team arrives and tether the plane to their vehicles, preventing it from taking off and forcing it to circle the runway on the ground. During the fight, Brian saves his captured wife Mia, Giselle sacrifices herself to save Han's life, while the others manage to crash the plane. Shaw is thrown from the plane and seriously injured, while Dom drives out of the wreckage with the Nightshade components. Hobbs then grants pardons to Dom's family, allowing them to finally return home to Los Angeles. Elena ends her relationship with Dom, knowing that his true love would always be Letty. As the film comes to a close, Owen Shaw's brother Deckard Shaw promises revenge on Dominic Toretto and his family. And to prove his villainy, Deckard Shaw tracks down Han in Tokyo, killing him in the crash first seen in Tokyo Drift. In Furious 7, Deckard Shaw breaks into the DSS office to steal the files on Dominic Toretto's entire crew. After being confronted by Hobbs, the two engage in a fight that results in Hobbs being critically injured and hospitalized. As Brian and Mia struggle to acclimate to a normal family life in the suburbs, and Dom helps Letty regain her memories of their past life, the Toretto household is blown up by Shaw. Learning of Han's death and Shaw's revenge mission, Dom reassembles his crew to fight back against their greatest villain yet. Dom's team are then approached by a covert ops team led by a man named Mr. Nobody, who promises to help take down Shaw if the Hashtag family successfully steals a device known as the God's Eye and save its creator, Ramsey. The God's Eye is a computer program capable of finding and tracking any individual in the world. Dom's team airdrops into Azerbaijan to rescue Ramsey from Nigerian terrorist Mose Jakande, then head to Abu Dhabi to steal the God's Eye. Now with a common enemy, Shaw and Jakande team up and travel to Los Angeles to steal back the God's
Hadzai and take down Dom and his family. Learning of his friend's dire situation, Hobbs breaks out of his cast and leaves the hospital to join the fight. As Brian leads the team to help Ramsey shut down God's Eye, Dom braces for a final fight against Deckard Shaw. After a grueling fight, Dom defeats Shaw by collapsing an entire parking garage on him, only to then be attacked by Jaconde in an attack helicopter. Hobbs arrives to help Dom defeat Jaconde, though the head Toretto is nearly killed and knocked unconscious in the process. Letty arrives and cradles her love, telling him that she now remembers everything. And with that, Dominic Toretto wakes up victorious once again. As Hobbs arrests Shaw, the rest of Dom's team head off for a much needed vacation. After discovering that Mia is pregnant with their second child, Brian vows to give up their dangerous lives to live with their family in peace. As the film comes to a close, Brian and Dom share a final moment together before going their separate ways, and Brian drives off into the sunset. In The Fate of the Furious, Dom and Letty are enjoying their long overdue honeymoon in Havana, when Dom is approached by a mysterious woman named Cypher. She coerces Dom into coming out of retirement to work for her after showing him a mysterious photo. Meanwhile, DSS agent Luke Hobbs is tasked with an off-the-books mission to retrieve an EMP device from a compound in Berlin. Hobbs recruits Dom, Letty, Roman, Tej, and Ramsey to help him retrieve the device, but Dom then shockingly betrays the group, stealing the device for himself and delivering it to Cypher. In the aftermath, Hobbs is arrested and sent to the same high-security prison as Deckard Shaw. The two enemies reluctantly work together to escape the prison, and once free, they are recruited by Mr. Nobody and his assistant, Little Nobody, to take down cyber terrorist Cypher. Letty, Roman, Tej, and Ramsey all join Hobbs' crew in an effort to uncover why Dom betrayed them, though they are all skeptical over working with Shaw, who had murdered Han. Cypher is revealed to have been the mastermind to hire Owen Shaw to steal the Nightshade device, and Moj Jaconde to steal God's Eye. And now, she and her right-hand man Rhodes wanted to trigger a nuclear war. To force Dom to work for her, it's revealed that Cypher has kidnapped his former love Elena, who had secretly given birth to Dominic Toretto's infant son. As Dom is sent to New York City to steal a nuclear football, he manages to have a secret meeting with Deckard and Owen's mother, Queenie Shaw, promising to clear her son's names if they rescued his son from Cypher. As Dom steals the nuclear football with some assistance from Cypher's army of hacked autopilot cars, Hobbs' team arrives to intercept him. In the confrontation, Dom seemingly kills Deckard before Letty manages to steal the nuclear football from him. As Rhodes prepares to kill Letty, Dom intervenes and takes back the device. Although Dom successfully delivers the nuclear football to Cypher, the villain still orders Rhodes to execute Elena and threaten her child should Dom ever divert from their plan. The final part of Cypher's plan sends Dom and Rhodes to Russia to steal a nuclear submarine and trigger a nuclear war, while Cypher oversees the mission from her plane. As Hobbs' team arrives to thwart Cypher's plan and save the world, a still-alive Deckard and Owen Shaw secretly infiltrate Cypher's plane and rescue Dom's son. Back on the ground after hearing that his son was saved, Dom finally turns on Cypher and joins his friends to save the world. Dom kills Rhodes and destroys the nuclear submarine, averting a global disaster, though Cypher does manage to escape the Shaw brothers by jumping out of her plane. Deckard Shaw's name is cleared and he is accepted into the Toretto family for his efforts to save Dom's son. And Dom decides to name his new son Brian, which the whole Fast family celebrates. In the spin-off film Hobbs and Shaw, the titular Luke Hobbs and Deckard Shaw team up with Deckard's sister, MI6 agent Hattie Shaw, to stop a cybernetically enhanced villain named Brixton Lore from obtaining a deadly super virus known as Snowflake. Brixton works for a mysterious terrorist organization known as Etion, and his cybernetic enhancements grant him superhuman abilities. When Hattie injects herself with the only remaining dose of Snowflake left, she becomes Brixton's new target. As Brick Brixton pursues Hobbs, Shaw, and Hattie, Etienne uses their control over global media to frame the heroic trio as the real terrorists. 
Shaw gets some help from a former lover Margarita, who supplies the team with tools and weapons necessary to break into a Russian base to steal a device which could extract the snowflake from Hattie. After successfully retrieving the device, Hobbs, Shaw, and Hattie retreat to Samoa, where Hobbs reunites with his estranged family. Hobbs' older brother Jonah uses the device to extract Snowflake, while the rest of the family prepares for a final confrontation. Brixton and an army of Etienne forces arrive and face off against Deckard Shaw and the entire Hobbs family. Ultimately, Hobbs and Shaw work together to defeat the superhuman Brixton, who is then remotely terminated by Etienne's mysterious unseen director. As Deckard and Hattie Shaw celebrate their victory with the Hobbs family, the group collectively promise to find Etienne's director and bring them down once and for all. In F9, two years have passed and Dominic and Letty are living off the grid while raising their son Brian. Their simple domestic life is interrupted when Roman, Tej, and Ramsey arrive with news that Mr. Nobody had finally caught Cypher, but their plane crashed while transporting her to prison. Dom agrees to join his old crew to investigate the plane crash after realizing his estranged brother Jacob may have been involved. As teenagers, Dom and Jacob's father died in a racing accident, which Dom believes was was caused by Jacob tampering with their father's car to help a rival driver. Dom then challenged his brother to a street race, defeating him and banishing him from their home. Now, 30 years later, Jacob Toretto has teamed up with a wealthy benefactor named Otto to steal a device called Project Ares, which could hack into any computer system, granting him immense money and power. Mr. Nobody's plane contained half of the Ares device, so Jacob crashed the plane, stole the device, kidnapped Cypher, and left Mr. Nobody to an unknown fate. While investigating the plane crash, Dom's crew is attacked by Jacob and his private army. After narrowly escaping, the crew are assisted by Agent Michael Stasiak to flee to a safe house to plan their next moves. While there, they are joined by Mia, who wants to help thwart her villainous brother. The team discovers that Jacob previously worked for Mr. Nobody before going rogue to steal Project Ares for himself. Also revealed to have worked for Mr. Nobody is the crew's deceased friend Han. As Letty and Mia travel to Tokyo for more information on Han's involvement with Mr. Nobody, Dom, Roman, Tej, and Ramsey search for Jacob. Dom visits his father's old mechanic friend Buddy, who took Jacob in after his banishment. Buddy gives Dom Jacob's location, but also urges him to make peace with his brother. Other. In London, Dom's team faces off against Jacob and his army, ultimately capturing him and bringing him to their safe house for questioning. Meanwhile in Tokyo, Letty and Mia discover that Han is actually alive and well, living in hiding with a young ward named L. Han rejoins the crew at their safe house, explaining that he was recruited by Mr. Nobody to protect the young L, whose parents helped create Project Ares, and whose DNA was the key to activate it. When Deckard Shaw attempted to murder Han, Mr. Nobody helped Han escape and fake his death so that he could continue protecting L in secret. And that's when Otto arrives at the safe house with his army, attacking Dom's crew and rescuing Jacob. As Jacob flees, he reveals to Dom that he had only tampered with their father's car because their father asked him to, hoping to fake his death to avoid paying back a massive debt. This prompts Dom to regret banishing his brother from their family and pushing him toward a life of crime. Jacob and Otto then kidnap L and attempt to activate Project Ares. As Dom's crew gives chase, Otto launches a satellite into space while Jacob uses L to upload Ares to the satellite. As the upload nears its completion, Otto double-crosses Jacob, revealing he now worked with Cypher and Jacob was no longer needed. Otto throws Jacob from their truck, but he is saved by Dom and Mia. Finally accepted by his family, Jacob joins their mission to stop Otto from activating Project Ares. As the crew continue to chase Otto on the ground, Roman and Tej meet with Han's old friends from Tokyo, Sean, Twinkie, and Earl, who have developed a rocket car. Roman and Tej successfully drive the car into space to shut down the satellite. Back on Earth, her plan thwarted, Cypher pilots a drone to kill Dom once and for all. Dom manages to escape, prompting Cypher to accidentally kill Otto and destroy her own drone. As the film comes to a close, Cypher escapes once again, though Dom finally forgives Jacob for his role in their father's death. And in a post credit scene, the alive and well Han pays a visit to his would-be killer, Deckard Shaw. 